uh, I started working with Jim Lee and you know and uh, Mark Sebastri and you know uh, Scott Williams and those guys right this was back in the, the old image days and um, you know I came from that camp with uh, Campbell and, and, and Travis and Broom those guys um, so we kind of um, just used to hang out a lot and just draw a lot of comics you know back in the old Wildcats and Stormwatch and Union and, you know, uh, backlash, you know, all those, all those crazy comic books. But you know, and now I'm just, I'm still doing it now. All, all these years, you know, I've been working for, uh, I've done stuff for Marvel and Dark Horse. And now I'm working for DC right now, just working on uh, Batman Beyond. Uh, Jim Lee, he was the guy who actually, you know, nurtured me and 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 showed, he showed me the way of how to how to package and put together a comic book and how to better my art. And and just just by being in the industry and being around other talented people and by by repetition and doing this day after day and year after year, you know I've learned a lot through throughout the years um, and just doing a lot of stuff in the, in the industry, you know, and it kind of took me to where I'm at right now. I would say probably the worst part about um, joint comics is that it can get repetitive. It can get to the point where uh, artists kind of tend to stick to doing one medium for years and, years and 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 they don't expand as a as an artist because they're so tied up into drawing just comic books and that's something I highly do not recommend for any artist who wants to be a professional you got to expand you got to do more than just 2d art you got to do more than just comic book art you it, it, it only helps you stand back and see the big picture of everything because if you just do that one thing over and over and over and over and you get great at it and you get known for it well that's good that's cool but I mean it's it, comics is, is great but what if in 10 years comics does this completely and 10 years from now you, you're you're this old guy who just who used to draw comics you know you can't do anything else uh, when I was in college I was pretty broke living you know the typical college guy you know starving trying to scrape around for money and hey man you got twenty dollars here you know whatever um and when i first got to wildstorm uh i would say i think it was like the second or third week in we went on a death meet black tour and you know just throughout the tour i i, I just realized the amount of people how really big comic book is a lot of people we would show up to like these these, these signings and they were just like just masses and masses of people there and we, we it, to me it was like a mind-blowing thing because coming from nothing into this like kind of stardom thing and it would and I'm they were people wanting my signature and I'd even drawn a book yet and I'm like okay this, this is kind of weird you know what is that one thing that you haven't done in your career that you'd like to do even though you say you've been in years that's a long time oh this is easy direct I want to direct a film so bad I want to I want to shoot for the film industry it's 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 like this this hidden passion I have behind me right now and, and I don't know if you get if people can see it through my work when I'm working because I, I I've trained myself for years and years and years to think <laughs> as a cinematographer instead of a comic book artist and that's something I've, I've always done for years. So at least the past 10 years, I've, uh, I've, I've done this. And, and to me, I've taken like little steps heading in that in that direction um, to uh, 3D animation. So I've done that, and, and and I've been working in that direction for a long for a while now. I actually shot my first live action film about four years ago, but no one has seen it. You know, I'm not releasing it to anyone. I, you know, I had all my all my actors. You know, I had the script, everything, just just everything going, and um, um, uh, you know, there's a but it's still it's still in production, I, I should say. You know, we're still cutting uh, cutting it up. Um, but that's something I, I, I definitely want to do. You know, I definitely. I mean, if the opportunity came tomorrow, I wouldn't stop doing comics, but I definitely jump on it. You know, yeah, I, I'm ready. I'm ready to, to be a director. Yeah. Okay. The rest of your career. Thank you.